Yeah, uh, this is Rajni Khan from Lok Sata Party. I wanted to wish uh, Happy Republic Day to everyone. Thanks for coming here and participating with the uh, Hamadmi Party as well as Lok Sata Party. So uh, today we are celebrating our six, uh, 65th uh, Republic Day. So do do we want to discuss about uh, our history? Do you think is it a right day to discuss about history? Do you think? Do, uh, do we want to discuss about how we got the independence, or do we want to discuss how how our current India is functioning and operating? What is important for us? I think the important thing is we need to introspect as a India, as a citizen of the India today, and where we are now. What is going on back in India? Right. So let's talk, let's discuss about a couple of facts. <coughs> so today. The complete inflation rate in India is 9.3 percentage. Okay, but if you if you see in the U.S., it is 2.1 percentage inflation rate, right? If you go to literacy rate, we have 74 percentage in India, but in U.S. it is 99 percentage literacy rate, right? So if you take GDP per capita, it is 3,900 dollars in India, but in U.S. it is 50,700. dollars in us right so the um, unemployment rate is it is going around 3.8 percentage in india right so the average voting rate is 34 percentage in india but it is in uh, it is 80 percentage in us right so if you talk about external debts we have 376 billion dollars debts in, in india right what do you think Do you think we are in a right position? Do you think we are heading in a right direction? In entire world population, 42 percentage of the population, 42 percentage of the poor people are living in India, right? So, and if you come to corruption, we are the among the one of the highly corrupted country in world rank. We got 94th position. I think if we are in a first position, probably our politician would have bribed to get 94th because we don't want to stand at the first first position in the corruption, right? So, so here we need to introspect where we are now. If we take the jobs, the youngsters have the degrees but they don't have the jobs, right? Women, if they go outside, we don't have the security. we don't know if if somebody is going out we don't know until they come back to home whether they are safe or not right so if you take the farmers they are not able to sell their products or goods at the reasonable price farmers are dying textile industry is collapsing medium scale and small scale industries there is no life for them the retail industry retail people are dying like anything they are not in a position to pay even the rent for their shops also forget about the whether they are living properly or not this is a situation right so there are a, so many reasons if i if you ask anybody everybody will say our system is corrupted our people are corrupted our politicians are corrupted right but we are we are we are as an nri we need to introspect there are so many reasons for that but as an nri what is our job to improve our current situation of india right so you don't think we are also responsible you don't think we are also responsible i feel every nri every person living across the globe is responsible for the situation because we studied in india we used our colleges we used our universities what we are doing now we came out for our personal life and we are we are trying to settle in abroad because if you ask anybody why we are settling abroad everybody will say because we don't have trust in india and public system and political system yes i agree we don't have trust but who has to take a initiative initiative to improve the our situation you don't think we are responsible we don't think you don't think we nri is also have a equal equal uh, opportunity to work for our india right so that is what we need to introspect let's let's stop questioning about our political process our indian process our political leaders because all the efficient people are living abroad across the globe and we left our india for inefficient people the people who doesn't know how to lead our country the people who doesn't have any vision to lead our country right so my sincere request on this occasion 65th republic day right 
I am not questioning why you are staying abroad and why you would want to settle in the US or UK or Australia or somewhere else. But we need to introspect ourselves. Are we spending enough time for our country? Are we donating enough money for our country? Is it not possible? Why can't we do the? Why can't we donate some amount for our country every every year and every month, whatever we are making, right? Why can't why can't we contribute something, right? So my humble request is, I am not asking why you are staying here, but my request is, at least spend at least seven to ten hours per week. Think about our villages, think about our districts, think about our states, right? So wherever, from wherever place you are, you are coming, just adopt constancy or take your one village, adopt it and try to use your intelligence, try to your effort and see why can't we change this system, why can't we build one parallel system to change and uh, why we need to rely on the current political system, why can't we do that, right? So my humble request, the people who are standing here, come forward, donate some money for good cause, Encourage. I am not asking to only to donate Lok Sattva Party or Aam Aadmi Party. I am asking whoever is doing good thing. It can be NGO organization, it can be political organization or non-political organization. Just come forward. I am ready to. I am ready to donate 10 percentage of my annual salary to my India, my better India. Are you ready? Introspect yourself. I am ready. I am ready to go back to India and work for our political system. Though I am, I can stay here like anybody, and I can also be a CEO or CEO of the company. But I want to go back to my country. I am. So think, think like that. In that line, if people come forward, if you think for India, we can make wonders. We cannot imagine. You everybody noticed what happened within last two months, right? Aam Aadmi Party. So they formed the government. And everybody is today is criticizing Aam Aadmi Party. Within the 30 days, everybody is asking why Aam Aadmi Party is not ready to give the jobs, why they are not able to stop this, why they are not able to do that and this. We need to ask ourselves, do you think 60 years the Congress ruled our states? Do you think how much of mess they have created, how much pollution they have created, how, how corrupted system they have created? Do you think is it easy task to go and, uh, go and streamline everything within 30 days? Everybody is saying the Modi is improved the Gujarat. Yes, Modi is increased the Gujarat, improved the Gujarat. I also agree. How how long they have taken? They have taken 15 years to change the Gujarat situation, right? How much time we are giving to Ahmadmi Party? How much? 30 days. So we need to question ourselves. We need to stop criticizing. We need to encourage the positively to the, all the people. They came forward. They are trying to make the change. As a citizen of India, it's our duty. Even though I'm coming from Andhra Pradesh, I worked with all my friends to support the Ahmadmi Party because I want to change my country. I don't, I, I, I don't mind whether it is it is Ahmadmi Party is giving, whether it is Lok Sattva Party is giving. Tomorrow, some other party is going to make a change. I want my country is first, my family is second. That is what my purpose, right? So, what I want to say is. So give some time, at least we will introspect after one year and two years or three years. We will re-evaluate what is the situation of Ahmadmi party. My friends here, they called thousands of, they did thousands of phone campaigning during the elections time. Do you think if Ahmadmi party is not going to function well, do you think we are going to sleep? We are going to make a phone calls. We will, we will, we will encourage them. We will empower them to do the right things. Right? My sincere request is: stop criticizing. Be positive. Yes, we are going to make a change. My last thing is: I am from Andhra Pradesh. I am proud to say that I do support Lok Sattva Party. Everybody knows the Jay Prakash Narayana, the background which he had. He is coming from IAS background. He can he resigned for his job. He is he is he, he built up NGO organization. Then he realized NGO organization cannot do wonders. We have to be part of the system. We have to be part of the political process. Then he started the party called Lok Sattva Party. Right. So. Unfortunately, the public, we didn't get the enough response, so he was the only one that got elected as MLA. But we need to think one thing. What happened to Chiranjeevi? 
what kind of political system he started. He said we are going to rule the Andhra Pradesh. He started the party. Everybody blindly went and followed the, the Chiranjeevi. Right? What happened? After one year, after one year, he bankrupted his entire political party just for sake of one union minister position. Just for sake of one union minister position, he, the people, the six, six crores of the Andhra people who loved him, who thought he's going to make a change, he didn't, he ignored everything and he just for sake of one position, he, he merged his party into the Congress party, right? So, but the Jay Prakash Narayana, people gave him only one MLA seat, but still, still, there is a lot of pressure from Congress to merge, there is a lot of pressure from TDP to merge, but he's not merging his party, he's, he, he's, he knows his, uh, his groundwork, he knows his ideology. He's still working hard and hard to, uh, he's, he had a positive hope, yeah, if not today, some other day, but we are gonna make a change. That kind of positivity he had and he's still fighting. So my sincere request from Andhra Pradesh is, come forward, associate with good platform, there are so many good political forums, come forward and associate with Lok Sattva Party and we are going to make a change. The last one is, I wanted to request Arvind Kejriwal ji and Ahmadmi party, entire Ahmadmi party leaders and crew. As far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned, it is a very complex system, it is a very complex platform. If we stay together, we can make a wonders in Andhra Pradesh. But if we fight separately, it is very difficult because we cannot give a two options to the people. If you ask all the good people to vote, they are going to vote to Lok Sattva. Some of them are going to vote Aam Aadmi Party also. None of, the, none of us are going to get a majority and we are not going to form the government, right? So end of the day, we are going to give a, give a benefit to the traditional parties against whom we are fighting these days. So I want to request on behalf of all my friends, all my Dallas crew, I want to request Arvind Kejriwalji uh, Kejriwal to consider my humble request. Please alliance with Lok Sattva Party. We will make wonders. We will, if you fight together, there is a scope. We can, we can, we can, uh, we can overcome all the challenges and uh, the system we have in Andhra Pradesh. That is my humble request. And I want to say thanks to everyone for coming here and participating this evening and making it is very memorable. And uh, uh, thanks for it. And thanks to everyone. Thanks to our Mahmoudi party and all the Lok Sattva people and all the Dallas. And also thanks to Desi Plaza. I hope you everybody knows today they started the Desi Plaza TV. Moving forward, you guys can watch all the events from the Dallas in the live. They are going to give a live. So on behalf of all of you, I want to congratulate them. I want to say good luck to them. You guys are going to rock. And everybody from outside of the Dallas and outside of the Texas are saying Dallas is a happening city. That is happening because of the Desi Plaza. Because they are giving the, they are, they are putting a lot of effort to record all the events and publicize and market over the, over the internet. Because of that, everybody is able to watch what is happening in Dallas. Thanks to Desi Plaza and Jai Hind.